All right, and I'm back for all my pregnant ladies that, um, if you're not pregnant, please keep it moving. Just kidding, but you're not going to be interested. This is pregnant talk, okay? So, so I'll wait for you guys to leave. Go ahead. We'll see you later. Bye. For all my pregnant ladies, you guys are probably sick and tired of eating dates, right? I swear to God, if I eat one more date, I'm going to throw up. Like, I just, I'm fed up. Normally, this happens when you're towards the end of your pregnancy. For those that didn't know, uh, by the way, uh, dates help, help with your uh, cervical dilation. So, obviously, we need that for baby to come out, right? It makes it easier. So, at this point, I need to get creative with it, right? I obviously need to come up with different ideas to be able to eat the dates every single day, right? Until my due date. So I'm going to uh, show you guys what I'm doing right now, the, the way I'm eating these dates. By the way, I'm worrying more about making sure that it tastes good. Um, it might not be the healthiest thing, but hey, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. If you want to go ahead and maybe do it a couple of days, not every day, um, you guys will enjoy it, okay? All right, Lucky, come on. Sit down real quick. Please stay off the camera. couple of things that I'm doing right is you guessed it i'm wrapping bacon around the dates genius right so the best way to do it really is i slice the um the date in half so we're gonna slide it in half i melted um some of the cheese sticks if you guys go to the store you can just find regular cheese sticks i melted some of it right you'll put that in the middle right and then from one bacon strip you can just cut it in half lucky please get out he loves bacon if he smells bacon he goes crazy this dog really goes crazy over bacon and then you will wrap it around the date with a toothpick, just like that, right? From one end to the other. And voila, enjoy, okay? So I'm just gonna do this with a couple of them. So you guys get the idea of slide it, slide it in half, right? Put some cheese in the middle, there you go. Cheese in the middle and we'll wrap the bacon around it, right there. And we'll hold it with a toothpick. There you go, there you go. All right, so there we got two. I'm gonna do one more. So I'll two bacon strips, I normally can get four dates. So that's not that bad, right? So we'll go ahead and cut this bacon strip in half. Again, we'll put cheese in the middle, right? And we'll put half of bacon around it. And then we'll hold it with a toothpick from one end to the other. There you go, guys. This is literally delicious. Okay, this, this is, is the only, only way that I can now eat dates. All right, ladies, the second recipe that I wanted to show you. So I normally do either or, right? Is a shake, right? So either I'm going to wrap them around bacon and eat them with cheese in the middle, or I'm just going to make a shake. So I'll put my six dates in, okay? Six of them, there we go. I will add between eight ounces to 16 ounces of coconut milk, one full teaspoon of Nutella, and one full teaspoon of peanut butter. This literally tastes like a chocolate shake, like chocolate peanut butter shake. It's super sweet, so you don't need to add sugar because the, the dates are naturally sweet. And the... Um, the Nutella is super sweet as well. So you really don't need any sugar, but it tastes amazing. These are the two ways that I'm, you know, getting creative and I'm coming up with recipes so that I can do my six to seven dates um, each day. And hopefully this baby is coming soon. Uh, but if not, then I will probably be back with another recipe because I'm sure I'll get bored of this. <laughs> So I'll come up with a different recipe to try to eat my dates every day. Another thing I'm doing, by the way, is uh, I'm starting to eat lactation cookies. I know, you know, I'm, I don't have my baby yet, but I've heard that if you start eating those early on, you can actually speed up labor. Let's see if your baby comes before, right? Because at this point, I've been pregnant for way too long and I just, I just want baby to get here. So... I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, next time I already have my baby. If not, then you guys will see me again with another recipe. All right, bye.